Hey everyone, welcome back to Unicorn Dust Designs. My name is Sammy, and on this channel we do DIYs, wood signs, and there's always tons of laughter. We are actually in the groove of a dupe series. So this is the third in the series. I'll link the previous two down in the description box for you. And today we're actually doing Amazon dupes. So let's go ahead and get right into them. Okay, so for this dupe, we're gonna take the Dollar Tree wood panels. You're gonna need six of them. And look at them because some of them are a little warped, so you want the ones that are as flat as possible. So we are going to grab these. You will also need some twine, 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 twine. All right, so we are gonna grab our paints here. We are gonna use black. I'm gonna paint the front and the back of these. So right here, I'm painting the back. We're gonna do it for all three of them. Then I'm going over the front and I got my wood graining tool, y'all. This is amazing. I have it in my Amazon store link down in the description box. I think it's like eight bucks. And um, it took some practice and I took y'all's advice with not rocking it back and forth and you are so right. The wood grain looks so much better. So with these, you just look at that. You just paint a coat on and then you drag it across your surface and it leaves like a beautiful wood grain on here. Look at that, you can see the top right there. Ooh, stunning. So this is how we're gonna get our faux wood grain here, which you can stain these and they do show up um, with stain, but I chose to do this. All right, now taking white, I already painted the backs of these. This is the front. And again, look at that. This one, like the white actually showed up more than any other color and it looked gorgeous. Look at this. Do you see that wood grain on the left? Hello, beautiful. Grab one of these, you guys. Start playing around with it. They are so much fun. All right, then I did the gray and at first I was like, oh, I'm too lazy. The white will look fine. No, I had to go rinse that off turn this one around, repaint it with the gray again, and then use the wood grain tool over it. So needless to say, this one didn't show up as much as the others, but it is what it is. All right, so after we're done with that, I am marking, I think it was one and a half centimeters in on each side. I'm going to get my drill, drill those holes. Now to drill the holes in all of the other ones, so they're in the same place, sorry for the angle here, or the lack of, um, but I just stacked them on top of each other and just drilled right through the previous hole. That way I didn't have to like worry about getting them all measured the same way and yada, yada, yada. All right, now I made these with my vinyl cutting machine. Hashtag duh. All right, so um, I kept it exactly as it was in the do picture. So the white vinyl on the black, even the wording is like where it was on the dupe picture. And then the black lettering is going to be on the white ones. I go ahead and take this all the way up with our vinyl decals. If you have really nice penmanship, you can use a paint pen with these and that would work out great as well. Now taking my twine, I tied a knot at the end um, and then I string it through the back of the bottom one. And then you're just going to string it over and you're going to keep well, I put a piece of tape, that way it doesn't fray as we keep doing this. So I go over and then I am gonna go under. So you're just going under, over, under, over. And you're gonna repeat these steps. Now I'm not doing knots or anything like as I'm weeding it through. I only do a knot when I start off and we're gonna do a knot at the very end. Now I was focusing on spacing mine beforehand you don't necessarily have to do that. Just make sure you leave your end longer so that you have the room to space them out. But this is just what I chose to do. So we're gonna string this all the way up to the top. Now leave a hanger. So you wanna keep some length up there so that you can hang it. And again, you're gonna do the same thing. You're just going from the bottom over top and then you're gonna put it through and you're gonna keep doing that until you get all the way down. This was actually really easy, y'all, and this would make a great gift for somebody and I love the way that it turned out. So I just tied another knot and there we go. So this is how she looks. 
I'm really happy with this dupe. Let me know, of course, what you guys think in the comments. Um, and then you guys asked to do side-by-sides. So here is the side-by-side. -side. Ours costs us, ours is on the right, and that one cost us like $7, and the one on the left was $24.99. Right, that was the first DIY, and if I do say so myself, that was pretty like dead on. Okay, like, oh, crrr, that was pretty awesome. Um, I chose to do Amazon dupes because are inspired by, as some of the haters will say in the comments, uh, because I figured, you know what? We shop on Amazon all the time, all the time. And the decor on there is so good. It is such a great price. And I was like, I'm doing Amazon dupes. So I hope you guys are enjoying these. Um, you guys know the drill. If you're digging me, if you're digging the channel, if you are digging the DIYs, make sure you like, make sure you subscribe. It really does help my channel out um, when you interact with um, me, my channel. And um, you guys, make sure I am starting to do lives on Facebook. So make sure to go down in my description box, look for Facebook business page, click that link and go follow me there. I am going to be trying to hop on there one time a week um, to do crafts with you. I have no idea what the crafts are, you guys. I'm just winging it for now. And then if it becomes a success, then I will do them a lot more on Facebook. Um, so I hope you guys go click that link. And with that said, let's go ahead and get back into the dupes. All right, here is our second one. I saw these and thought, one, gorgeous, two, uh, we can totally do that easy. So I grabbed these candle holders from Dollar Tree, like seriously yesterday, and we are just going to do the baking soda and chalk technique. Now, I will say after doing this a few times now, one, the chippy brush is the way to go. Two, obviously the, the less baking soda you're gonna put in, the, um, what do you call it? The, not the thinner the coat will be, you won't have as much texture. So the more you put in, the more texture you're gonna get out of this. So I just put in equal parts, use my chip brush, I let them dry, and then I am going to go and do a second coat. Make sure they are thoroughly dry before doing your second coat, or like chalk paint, it's just going to peel up or pull up the first coat that you put down. So I just used my heat gun to speed up the drying process. It worked very good. And then once it was almost dry, I let the rest air dry on its own. Now you can see I'm going in with the second coat and I'm just doing this very lightly. I just wanted to make sure that the glass was covered up. And these came out probably the nicest um, with this paint technique than anything else I've done. I think I'm starting to get the hang of it, finally. Next, I'm gonna take the floral foam. I just indented it, taking my um, nail file. I'm gonna cut a circle out. Oh my gosh, cringe worthy the sound of putting this in that candle holder. Oy, oy, oy. So we're gonna just repeat the step. Now, you guys, I'm putting this lavender in from Dollar Tree. I don't know if y'all noticed, but so this I think is the older version of the lavender right here. And I didn't notice, Everett's trying to help me right here with his little hands, there he goes. Um, I didn't notice, I don't think, that they were different. So these are longer and the leaves are actually on each and every stem. So I start using these and filling it up. I'm trying to make sure I cover all of that foam here. Well, then as I run out, do you see these? These are so much, the actual like petal part is way shorter the leaves are on separate stems so for this next cup i had run out of the other one so i had to start kind of playing around with it cutting off um the leaves sticking them on the flat it was just just so you know you guys um i don't know if you knew that there was a difference in the lavender picks but here we go right here these are gorgeous these are gorgeous. I'm gonna make so much more and put them in my, so many more and put them in my um, my booth. I think they are so gorgeous. And this is them side by side. Ours cost, I can't see it, probably like $5 and theirs I think were, I don't know. Okay, 
So the next one up is the great bathroom word search. Now this isn't going to be a complete dupe because I did not have that size, but I got these chalkboards at Michael's. Um, I think the tag actually said it was from fall. So I wait until these things go on clearance. I probably got this for $3. I have tons, you guys, like 15 of them. Um, and I am going to use some antique wax. I'm going to try to get that wood grain because the frame is wood. But then I realized, girl, you got to do the actual inside of the frame. So stop being lazy, get your painter's tape out and just do it the right way the first time. So you don't have to cry when the antique wax gets on your chalkboard and messes it up. Cause that's usually what would happen if I would have taken the shortcut. You know what I'm saying? I know what you, I know, you know what I'm saying. All right, so I just go ahead and finish that up. I do the sides as well, the inside of the frame, let it dry. And after that, oh my gosh, you guys, this decal. So I am going to grab this decal. Okay, can I just point out that I set that painter's tape up right here so that I knew where to butt up my vinyl. And then once I took it all off, I took the, you'll see. Anyways, I am using the contact paper from Dollar Tree and I remember why I stopped using it. This took literally over 30 minutes to get onto the vinyl. It just would not, like the contact paper would not take the vinyl with it. So I had to press each letter down one by one. Oh my gosh. And weeding this, y'all, mm, mm, I don't recommend it. Okay, <laughs> but we still got the look for less, okay? So after I spend what seemed like eternity on weeding this out, and I don't know why I'm having you watch all of this either, but this is where I grab the um, chalkboard sign. And this is where I say it's not a dupe because the dupe is actually uh, longer and like skinnier here. All right, this is where my editing skills come into play and you guys are like, oh my gosh, Unicorn Desk Design, Sammy, you are like so good at editing your videos. You should edit everybody's videos on YouTube. And I'm like, oh, you guys are so sweet. <laughs> okay, that's where I take it off and then I'm like, oh, girl, girl. And if you guys notice, I'm wearing my Bloodhound Mom t uh, sweatshirt. Thank you so much, Kat. This means the world to me. Um, I think I show it to you guys a little later. Um, but I just rub this on here, you guys, and that's it. I actually found this image on Google, put it into my Cameo design space, copied the image, cut it, and then I cut it out. So um, if you guys don't wanna watch, uh, buy SVG files, look on Google for free images and you can easily um, trace them and use it that way. And then I just um, edited like the top to make it the great bathroom word search. So, all right, you guys, I think that's it. Yeah, then I start, I don't know what I'm writing. Oh, old time pottery, I was watching YouTube. All right, so here is our dupe, the great bathroom word search. And I think it turned out pretty darn good. I mean, seriously, I spent $3 on the chalkboard and I spent eternity um, weeding everything out, but it still was cheaper than the Amazon. So here is our side-by-side -side right here. Obviously you could see mine is shorter and wider, but other than that, hmm. All right, here's the next one. Y'all, this is where I went rogue, okay? This is where I went rogue and then I started getting all like flower happy and it looks similar. So, your girl that likes to find things on a clearance, you guys, this was $14.99. After the holidays, like fall, Christmas, all of their wood stuff goes like 60, 70% off. So I think I got this for like $5, got a bunch of them. Like I have everything else. I'm gonna go ahead and tape this off. You see how I'm like doing this the right way the first time? Yeah, okay. So tape that off. Then I'm gonna go ahead and get my craft knife, clean up the edges. I'm gonna follow the tape all the way around so we don't get on there. Now I'm taking still gray and my baby wipe cloth. We're gonna go ahead and just create a stain because it was a gray frame on the dupe as well. That was Hank, sorry if you heard that, he's so tired. He's had a hard day. All right, so I cut these letters off of my vinyl machine. I am gonna link some videos, y'all, where, so you have more options, because you can easily print these on just a regular old printer, cut them out, 
and then Mod Podge over them. You can also use the pencil technique and trace them and then paint them. So there are other ways than just having the vinyl cutter. So I'll link those two videos down in the description box for you if you want to check them out. Um, you could also get stencils at like your craft store. So I'm just putting these on. This is just 651 Oracle um, permanent vinyl. And here we go, there's the M. All right, this is where your girl starts going rogue here. Um, so I start with my Sola wood flowers and I will leave my referral link and I will try and find the bundles that these colors are in. Um, but I started with the grays, but then I saw this mint color and I was like, ooh, that mint color looks great. And then I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go rogue. Like, I'm just gonna make this how I want to. And then I didn't remember what the picture looked like. For some reason, I thought the florals were like going in different directions. But then when I looked at it after, it's definitely a circle. <laughs> so I probably should have kept to that. And I will say, so after I, do all of this and I show you the picture. I did add these really beautiful skeleton leaves. Um, one of my subscribers, Julie Berg, um, ended up sending me this box full of amazing like paper flowers and leaves. So it's not in the picture, but I did add them and they look so romantic. I will post a picture um, on my community tab or my Instagram of that. And thank you, Julie, for sending me those. So that is ours. You'll see the dupe right here. So they, you see mine is like, people are probably looking at that like, what happened there? But you know what? It still looks good. Okay, so here this one is. If you guys don't already know what I'm gonna use, come on now. You have to know what I'm using from Dollar Tree, these signs. So these are my last three of these, you guys. I'm so sad. But we are gonna take these apart easy peasy take this off just rip the paper off those little like the actual words break so easily all right you guys know i usually use shipping paper to cover the pack well then i remembered i had this marble transfer contact paper i was going to use on my craft table and i was like you know what this is probably a lot easier it looks just as clean and you don't have to use hot glue and i was just like this is perfection so i think i'm going to just start doing this and adding different prints on it or whatever cool contact paper I find, shelf liner, whatever this is called. So I'm going to do that for all three of them. See how you, it's going to make our back look all pretty. All right. So you guys, for these uh, uh, blah, 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 frames, they repel like antique wax. Like don't even try it unless you are planning on sanding these babies like all the way down. They have this like glossy film over them, even the chalk paint and wanted to repel it just a little bit but I knew it was probably the only way I could paint these. So I took truffle, I painted the outside, the inside. I also painted the back as well, just because I knew I'd be putting these in my booth. Well, I always do a finished product, but you know what I'm saying. So I go ahead, I, I'm using my stencil brush. I'm not trying to get like a super clean coverage on here. I want that wood to come popping through, just like our dupe picture. I do two coats of white on the front of them. This is just Waverly White. You could use acrylic paints as well. Just make sure to get the two. I was trying to make it look really close. You know, I probably would have distressed the crapola out of this, um, but I was trying to make it close to the dupe, so I didn't do it. All right, so after I use my heat gun and dry it and all that stuff, here we go. So more decals, sorry you guys, but this is the only way we could create these dupes here unless you have some bomb handwriting, which I do not, we won't do. I mean, I do on paper, but when I try to like paint, no. Um, and then we just put these on in and I chose to do it this way because the, um, the frame actually covers a portion of like the, the back so I thought this would be easier to make sure that I get it on the right spot. And I did the sayings. I will drop the fonts down in the description box for you. And this is how it turned out. I think it is pretty darn close. I didn't wanna hang them on my wall though because I probably would have torn paint off or something. So here we go. And then I will show you our side-by-side -side of the Amazon versus ours. And then you can see the price difference as well, which is, uh, yeah, I'd rather take my price. Okay, 
this is the last one you guys and then we're done so i did not notice that these were reversible until i put this picture on here i made two separate ones okay so for this one you guys we are using two of these dollar general houses one dollar each and take your sticker off easy peasy with your heat gun and these came off like super clean now i'm going to turn them around i'm going to do two coats of rich black by folk art i'm going to go ahead and tape that off yeah definitely didn't realize these were supposed to be reversible but it's all right now i have two little houses okay so i am just making sure to get the actual front part we aren't touching the roof of the houses at all and we are going to wait until they thoroughly dry and then we are going to put a second coat same thing for the white we're going to do actually three coats of the white here to try and cover that up now i'm using my ruler now the dupes had these like lines in the roof pieces and you know what it might seem like why why but it actually does add that just little bit of detail i really liked it so now i'm taking some eucalyptus leaves i just take two and then i just hot glue the ends together to make a circle pretty easy there we go fits perfectly it's like the perfect size these two little pieces all right so now i'm going to take my um my decals that i cut from my whatchamacallit it's called a cricket there we go this one was just a heart you guys could even draw these on and then the font i used used was courier so that's a pretty basic font um now i am just sorry i'm saying i'm a lot i'm gonna hot glue my eucalyptus on there i'm gonna do a finger bow i'll link the video for my finger bow which i do in real time down in the description box it is the best bow to know how to do because it's so easy and it looks so good on so many things so i'm gonna go ahead i need to cut off a leaf there to make it sit down there we go hot glue that on i will put my decal on that says home sweet home and then we will be done with this you guys and that was our last amazon dupe I hope it inspires you when you look on Amazon next time. Just search farmhouse decor and so many awesome things come up and it definitely will give you inspiration on what you can make with some of your craft items. And here is our side by side, which is pretty dang close. I hope you guys enjoyed this Amazon dupe video. Please remember to like and subscribe if you're digging this video. I appreciate you all for being here and joining me this Saturday. And I will be back on Tuesday with a makeup video. Bye y'all. Okay, oh man, that is probably not the fanciest thing to leave up there. Not like I'm fancy. All right. Either my boobs are lopsided or it's the shirt. There we go. We'll blame it on the shirt. Okay. This stuff is good, but seriously, it's absorbing right into my lips like toast on butter. Butter on toast. Oh, God. I'm a mix. I got hit besides any cavities. Oh, uh, it's right there. It's like chicken. You guys are so welcome that I am as classy as I am because you're just welcome. What was the first one you did? Okay. All right. We have to take him to the vet. We don't know how. He's been in pink coma. I'm a little bug. <laughs> Can you see the bee stuck in my teeth?